Welcome back, guys, for a new series of Timberborn. Update 6 is here. It is packed with really cool stuff. I cannot wait to show you everything that's in this update. I'm going to choose the folk tales for this playthrough. Should be fun. And we're going to play on my new favorite map, Mountain Range. It's my favorite because I found a way to totally crush it. And of course, we're playing on hard mode. Let's do it. And here come the beavers. Adorable, aren't they? Adorable, but a complete bunch of slackers. Talking of adorable slackers, <laughs> I'm joined as ever by Picture Perfect. How you doing, Picture? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. It's enough for you, frankly, because we want to get on. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot to show the guys. Uh, pause the game. Right, here's the map. And it's, uh, it's an absolute humdinger of a map, this one. We've got two, uh, two water sources. One up here, one up here. Then we've got bad water over here. And we've got three bad water spawns over here. And the real issue is, how do you deal with the bad tides? Because when these, when these start producing bad water, um, how do you get rid of it? How do you divert it somewhere? We're playing on hard mode. So we get three guaranteed droughts. And then it's 50-50 as to whether it's a drought or a bad tide. I've already marked in a few paths just so that I know where I'm going to position buildings. We're going to start off with a couple of lumberjacks. I'm going to throw one in over here and one in right in there, I think. Yeah, that'll do. You know, I'm actually going to throw in a third one. Yeah, I'm going to throw in a third one. Why not? Go crazy. Let's throw in a, a third one up there. Um, that'll get the wood coming in. What are we going to do with the wood once we've got it? Well, food and water are the big things. So food, we're going to throw in an efficient farmhouse. And I'm just going to flip it around and pop it in right there. And then water pumps. Water pumps. I'm going to start off, I think, with two, because why not? So one and two goes in there. All right. I think we can, uh, we can start them off. I think water is probably going to be the biggest problem that we're going to have because we don't have a massive reservoir. Uh, Evaporation is going to be an issue. So we can't be pumping water uh, like during the droughts. So we're going to have to have a lot of storage. Uh, before I forget about it, let's prioritize the farm and both of the pumps to make sure that we're, we've always got people in there. Oh, and that's a good point. And I'm going to have uh, a couple more workers. So, that, oh, no, I want to I want to set this down to lowest priority and add a couple of workers. There we go. That's more like it. Right, dam. We need a dam across here. Right, let's put four dams across there. Am I going to prioritize those? I'm... Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna. I want to get these built first. So uh, I think at this point we can probably speed things up a little bit. Let's go and have a look at our beavers. Oh, they're they're, they're no longer massaging the trees. They they are actually biting the trees, which is good news. The whole massaging thing made me very uneasy. Frankly, <laughs> it was it was a bit disturbing. <laughs> very strange behaviour. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we, we're getting to. It. I've already put in the cutting areas. Let's have a look at the cutting area, shall we? So we've got a cutting area over here, we've got a cutting area over here, and another one over here, which we're uh, we're not taking advantage of yet, because we need to get across here. And that, that dam will help us to get across there, and then we can get to these lovely oak trees, which are going to produce eight logs each. That's, um, that's a fair amount of wood. And we are going to need a lot of wood. We are going to need a lot of wood to... Uh, <laughs> to get done what I want to get done. Uh, more about that later. Right now, we're going to need a bit of science. So I think we should get our scientists going early. Science and inventors. I want two of these because we, we're going to need... We don't need like an absolute ton of science, but we need the science pretty quickly. I'm going to increase the work hours because they're, they're slackers. Four hours sleep, more than enough. Come on, wake up. Do some blooming wits. I told you, look, they'd sleep all day if I let them. Here we go. Right, we now have a farm. Hooray. Now, we get three workers by default, so I'm gonna I'm gonna crank that down to and well, should I have two? Maybe two while we while we plant up. Talking of planting up, let's do that now. Right, how do I wanna lay the uh, the planting out? Okay, we're gonna have um, potatoes and we're gonna have carrots. Carrots is kind of the first thing, the most important thing. Um because the carrots will come through in like four days. The potatoes take six. So I think we'll go up to like there and then maybe down to like there. Yeah. And fill this bit in the same on that side. 
Oh, actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to take that strip out. Why are you taking that strip out, Scott? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm taking that strip out because um, I want to put water barrels down here because we're going to need to store a lot of water. And while you're talking about it, Scott, don't talk about it. Do it. So yeah, let's get some um, let's get some water barrels going. What do I want? Well, storage, small tanks. Let's flip this around. We'll start off with like um, four, I think. And then we'll be um, we'll be rapidly expanding that. Right, we are producing water. This is a very very good thing. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna have our, our beavers dying of thirst quite yet. I mean, probably at some point, but not <laughs> quite yet. Uh, and uh, and we're planting up the carrots. Awesome. Right, if we're planting up the carrots, um, then let's get to, let's get some potatoes planted as well. So what do I want? Oh, potatoes. Let's just do like this and this for now. Okay, right. We uh, we do have some blueberries, and while we're waiting for the for the carrots to grow and of course the potatoes, let's get some blueberry action going on. What do you want to do here, Sky? You want to put in uh, a gatherer flag, don't you? Yes, you do. Right. Let's throw in a gatherer flag. Now, am I going to am I going to put in some storage for the berries? I might. I might. Yeah. Why not? So we want a small wet house. Flip that around. Throw that in. And this is going to be for storing blueberries. There we go, blueberries. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Now, do I want to prioritize these? I think I probably do. So let's get those two built very quickly. How are we doing? Cycle one. We're already on day two. My God, things are moving at a rapid pace. Do I want to get one of the scientists up and running very quickly? I think I probably do. So let's get let's get that running quickly. Okay, we still got to get the small warehouse built, but we are bringing in berries. Okay, how much food? Hey, you know what? Let's have a quick recap. So uh, where are we? We've got 27 water. This is very good. Uh, 31 logs. That's awesome. We've got 48 berries currently, and uh, we'll be bringing more in, which is very nice. We have, uh, we started off with eight adult beavers and four kits. Kits are the babies. Um, we, we, one of them's already grown up. Solix has already grown up. So we're now at nine and three. And currently we have uh, we have no spare beavers. And in fact, we've got three jobs that are not being filled right now. So yeah, <laughs> we need these we need these baby beavers to grow up as soon as possible. Grow up at your age, for goodness sake. All right, uh, I'm gonna start ripping out these berries as soon as they get harvested um, because I wanna plant potatoes all down here and the sooner that they're put in the better as far as i'm concerned so what i want i want uh, demolish and i want mark resources for demolition so let's get rid of those i'm very concerned about getting this dam built before the first drought so um i think we're gonna i think we're gonna prioritize that oh we've already got all the logs in place well that's well done beavers for once they're actually doing what i want them to do uh let's get that one set up as well i should put a path across there shouldn't i yes you should Sky. all right let's get that across there how are we doing oh look at this we've got three no i, I said three but i was premature not the first time <laughs> uh we've got four sides we've got five sides so it's rattling along all right let's um do i do i get the uh, yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it let's crank up the other side. we need uh 60 science so that i can get a forester unlocked and start getting some more trees planted up here because i tell you what we're gonna be using this wood up at an alarming rate and we've got um we've got to build a lot of levees not a lot i mean quite a few but not a huge amount of levees so but it's going to take all the wood we've got and more it's already day four and i'm getting nervous because uh, things are not getting built quick enough uh, i tell you what i'm going to do we've got 56 logs so i'm going to pause these two lumberjacks let's pause you and we'll pause you that gives us two extra builders which gets us back up to three so hopefully now things should move along a little bit quicker uh what do we need when we need to get this built we need, or we just need one more log, and that gives us storage, which would be really good. And then we need to get a couple of these, uh, a couple of these water barrels built, at like at least two. It's very important that we actually store some water. So I, I think I'm going to prioritise the the two in the middle, because because I'm I'm a slave to symmetry, aren't I? Yes. It's well known. It's well known. I'm a slave to symmetry. <laughs> The second inventor, oh, there he goes. The second inventor has been built and we are up and running. So that's going to double our science. 
That's really good. Uh, I, w I really do want to get that Forester up and running as quickly as possible. We need 60 science. We're at 23. We've, we're halfway done with the, with the dam. We're going to get at least three more days before the drought hits. So we've only got to complete those. And we've, oh, and we've finished one of the barrels. That's good. I think at this point, I'm going to get one of these guys back on producing the, the logs because we've only got 28 left. We need, uh, let's see. We, uh, so we need 40 logs there. We need another 10 there. So that's 50. Okay. You, it, you know what? It's, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. We're, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Um, I do have to get rid of some more of these blueberries. So, uh, so let me mark those up. Oh, and there's the, there's the drought. The drought is coming in three days. We've, we've still got two people working. We've got two lumberjacks. We've got two scientists and two workers. And that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, and, and oh, we've got two guys in the farmhouse. I, I tell you what, I might take one of those guys out for now. So we'll just, we'll live with one farmer because they've got nothing to do until stuff actually um, starts growing. Let's see how, it, well, one more day and we should start seeing some carrots. Well, that's really, really neat, good news. All right. Are we, yes, we're getting on with the dam. That's great. I mean, this is absolutely essential. So like, as long as we get that, that the, this dam completed, we should, we should survive the first drought. We're about to hit 60 science. Come on, guys. Oh, they, and of course, they go to bed. Yeah, like, why? Why do you do it to me? <laughs> you stupid, slacky beavers. All right. Well, hopefully, as soon as they wake up, they'll get in there and this will tick onto 60. Come on. Come on. Hit 60. 60. 60 is what we want. Boom. Done. All right. Um, right. So, Forester. Where's Forester? Oh, it's, in, it's under wood, Sky. Okay, good. Right. Let's get the Forester. Flip you around. You're going to go straight in there. Yes. And is that a priority? It's not a super high priority. Oh, look, we've finished the dam. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. So that leaves us with the two small tanks and the forester. Okay, awesome. What's next on the science agenda? Next on the science agenda is stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 70 science we need for that. We need stairs so that we can get up here and get access this wood up here and then also to do lots of other things like we're going to be putting some uh, some levees up here so yeah there's there's going to be a lot of staircases built because this is really up and down I, I gotta say i do love this map i think they've done a fabulous job on this map it's nice and challenging but at the same time if you're clever you can you can really take advantage of how they've laid it out. I, I'm really impressed with this map. I can't I can't uh, I can't say enough good things about it. All right, where are we at? We've got 1.4 days. Uh, how are we doing? We've got almost three full barrels of water. I'd like I'd like all four. Um, three is good. Four would be even better. Uh, how are we doing? The forester is next, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's crank up the forester. Good. How many workers have we got? Oh, we, we, we've got a full four. Uh, in which case... Uh, you know what? Let's take advantage of having four workers. We'll let them get all this done. They've harvested all the berries. Awesome job, guys. Let's get the rest of these marked for demolition. And then we can start putting in some more potatoes. Uh, right, you can't do anything because you've got no more berries. Good. That means we can get rid of you completely. Goodbye. Throw your filthy stuff out in the street and go and do something far more useful. <laughs> All right. That means I, I think we can get a second farmer going. Yes. Awesome source. So currently we have we have 12 beavers. They're all working. We don't have any job vacancies and we don't have any unemployed beavers. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, how are we doing? We've got the water. The drought is about to start in 0.2 days. Awesome. Uh, have we picked all of this wood? No, we haven't. There's one bit left. Awesome. Okay, um, I'm going to put in a couple of um, storages here for food. And then, let's say, I, I think we'll start putting in some housing. Should we put some housing? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Let's grab the lodges and we'll do one, two, three, four. Now, we've got 12 beavers. Uh, that uh, That's four lodges because the lodges hold three each yes three each 
So that would that would that would cover our existing population. But I want to grow the population, so I'm going to fl flip this around and I'm going to throw in one, two, three, four more. I'm then going to grab the priorities and I'm going to set them to very low. Yeah, I'm going to set them to very low priority. Am I? I tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to set these four to very low priority. Uh, oh, we've got 70 science. Hooray. Right, let's do this. What do I want? I want stairs, don't I? Yep. Okay, stairs. Uh, we'll throw the first set of stairs in over here. Unlock it. Boom. Good. Right. Stairs require planks. So let's get some planks going. We will get, uh, let's see, lumber mill. Lumber mill's going to go there. Yeah, lumber mill goes there. Now we've got to power this. And now I could use water wheels, but I'm not going to because right now we wouldn't get any power at all and to be honest the wet seasons tend to be pretty short on uh, uh, on the hard mode so i think we will go with a power wheel power wheel flip you around power wheel goes in there awesome this needs to be hooked up to the path let's do that path right this thing is going to take in logs and produce planks so i want two storages uh, and you know, they're both small piles, aren't they? Yes, they are, because they're both bulk goods. So we want this one set to logs, and this one set to planks. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, forester. Um, I need to plant up trees. Now, what trees am I going to plant up? Now, normally, I would just throw in oak trees, but because we, because we need to get everything built in, like, three seasons... Uh, I think we're going to go with pine trees. Yeah, I am going to throw in some oaks so that um, like later on we've got a good supply of wood. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're going to go with that. Has this guy... F yeah, you finished, haven't you? Yeah, right. You can throw your filthy stuff out in the street as well. What do I want? I want to demolish you. Goodbye. Bye. And that means we can now unpause that lumberjack. That'll help get rid of these trees. Right, what am I doing? Yeah, you're trying to plant trees and doing a very bad job of it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that comment. Uh, I think I'll do oak trees like there. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave a gap there because we're going to be doing something there later. Uh, and then pine trees. What do I want? Uh, pine trees. Why am I going for pine trees? Um, oak are the most efficient Pine trees is a kind of a good balance between production and the amount of time. So in 12 days, we'll get pine trees. Well, we would if you ever planted them, Sky. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Okay. I know I've been gone a while, but you lot haven't changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Give him a hard time. Don't give him a break about anything, <laughs> ever. All right, fine. Uh, let's fill in these. I'm going to leave a, a, a strip around here. Um, that bit I don't mind, but the rest I'm going to leave a bit of a bit of a gap along the, the water i might should i take those two out I, should i take those three out and that one four <laughs> the number of the counting shall be four uh what yeah, yeah yeah let's do it um so i want no i want trees so remove that and that there we go the drought has started let's see what was it a five five day drought five day drought six day drought? i don't know five day drought maybe uh so we've got four days left of this drought how are we doing let's take a closer look well we're doing great on water awesome um food we've got 40 well we had 40 food we've now got 33 33 food 33 food um that's okay that's okay we're we're bringing in potatoes okay if we're starting to harvest potatoes we need to do something with those so we're going to put in a grill where's the where's the grill it's over here grill there's a nice little corner for it to go in just there. Awesome. Okay, so grill, is that going to be a priority? Yeah, I think it is. Right, these need to not pump during the drought. So let's um, let's pause both of those pumps. That frees up two people. So we're then back to four of these guys. We just need one more log to complete the power wheel, and then we can start producing planks. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to happen, um, how are we doing for, for wood? Oh, we've only got one tree left over there. Right, we need to get these trees being cut down. So let's do that. Let's flip this uh, around that way, I think. And we'll have one there and one there. We need a path so that they can get to them. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? All right, let's do that. 
they're straight on it good right so we need to pause these two so let's um pause that one and pause that one. Oh, you know what i want to leave a gap there it's a good point i'm glad i spotted that what do i want to do uh, i want to go to trees and i want to get rid of that one there we go cool i'm gonna put in uh, another lumberjack flag there should i do it now yeah yeah do it now do it while you think about it because you know you'll you'll completely forget later on we'll put that in and we'll set the priorities and i'm gonna pause it actually at least at least finish building it and then i'll pause it is that a good plan yeah i think so all right how are we doing the the water level is still looking okay how are we doing for water we've still got four full barrels of water which is incredible what are they living on what are you drinking Has somebody set up a still they're all smashed out of their minds <laughs> um we've got i think we've got uh, an a beaver with a broken tooth yes we have we've got a beaver with a broken tooth right to fix that i'm going to come over here oh i need to set a recipe for the potatoes don't i yeah for the grill uh, grilled potatoes, please. Thank you. Right, let's get that going. Uh, right, so how do you fix beaver teeth? You go to well-being and you get the grindstone, the teeth grindstone. Let's bang one of those in there. Um, we want him back to full efficiency, so let's get that built as a, as a matter of urgency. Um, this just needs to get built, so that's good. Are we producing planks? Yes, we are producing planks. Excellent. We have built the forester. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. And we're getting new trees planted. Whew, okay, good. Okay, right, I think we can start uh, planning the next phase. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend this path up here and I'm gonna throw in another staircase there and then extend the path even further up to there. Right, that gives us access to these trees. So, let's mark them for cutting. So we want like all of this and all of this, no, no, on this level. There we go. Uh, all of that up there. And then we just need to put in a lumberjack flag, which I guess I'm going to pause for now. So we'll throw in that lumberjack flag up there. And it's going to take a while for that to get built anyway, because they've got to build these stairs. Oh, look, we've got the, we've got it grinding his teeth. Oh, it's, this sets my teeth on edge every time I see this. It's, ah, it's like the like the the worst trip to the dentist you could possibly <laughs> imagine. I've got to say, this first season has gone very well. Um, the beavers are not actually living in these houses because, like a complete lemon, I've uh, forgotten to extend the path so they actually get into them. <laughs> right, so I'm expecting now that our well-being should actually go up a bit. We'll see. Uh, it'll probably happen tonight. That would be that would be my guess. And in fact. It's getting dark. I might speed it up. Go on, speed it up. I want to see if they if they get a, get some shelter. I think this should, should jump up three, four, possibly even five. Oh, look at but six. It exceeded my wildest expectations. Well, being six, that's really good because that um, that actually gives them oh seven. Good heavens! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That gives them boosts to their um, to their working and to their into this movement speed so that's really really good news okay there's a few more things that i want to do so should i do them <laughs> sounds like a plan <laughs> all right let's extend that out what i want to do i want to throw in um a bit of well-being stuff so let's get um let's get a campfire going let's flip you around we'll throw a campfire in um i am tempted to put a roof i'm going to put a rooftop terrace in i uh, yeah i'm just going to do it now how am i going to do it that's a good question I think I'm going to put it over here. Um, they can't get in unless you put stairs in, Sky. All right, well, we'll give them some stairs. We'll throw some stairs there, and we'll run this. You know what? I'm going to do that like that, and I'll probably have water barrels there. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll have water barrels. Talking of water barrels, I want more water barrels. Let's get uh, storage, not, uh, not water. So... Storage barrel there, storage barrel there. Okay, good. Let's um, let's slide down a touch because I don't want things to get out of control. We're getting our trees planted up. That's a really good thing. S more science is coming in. We're up to 234. Okay, uh, pause because now we've got that science, I'm going to go to landscaping and I'm going to unlock the levee, the good old levee. How many millions of these have I built over the years? 
um, quite a few. Right, we are going to do a thing up here. Um, we're going to divert the water or allow us to divert the water so that it goes, like all the water goes off this side of the map and doesn't come down here. And then we're gonna control it. Right now, we're gonna control it manually with a floodgate. Later on, we're gonna use a new thing, the sluice gate. And let me tell you, the sluice gate is the most OP thing that they've ever put in the game. Right, let's run this across here. Now, over here, I'm gonna get a bit fancy, I think. I'm gonna have, um, okay, I'm gonna have that there. On this spot, I'm gonna have a too high floodgate, and then I want that, and I want that. Okay, cool, right. Now, we need to be able to get up there. Now, I was thinking of um, like running some stairs up here or something, but when I came up with this idea, um, I, I realized that probably the best way to get up there is to just put in a few extra levees and put stairs going up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it is a few more levees, but it's, I, think it, I think it looks nice. We need a few extra in here anyway to stop it like overflowing. So uh, let's see, we, we need one there, one there, couple there, couple there, boom, boom. And that does it. And I think that's uh, that's worth the extra levies because it just makes life so easy. Also, you know what? I meant to leave a strip of trees up here and I didn't because I'm a lemon. Uh, let me do it now. I'm gonna, gonna mark these for demolition. I'm gonna put stairs there and stairs there and there's there so we've got a path directly from where we're producing the lumber um up to here so hopefully they should build this relatively quickly uh, i'm gonna let them get on with it now right so what do i want to do i want to put a path in here there we go so it's just these two that need to be removed uh hook those up with a path now i also want a path going around here Okay, so yeah, right now things are looking good. We are on cycle two, day two. The water's flowing again, which is awesome. We, let's see, have we got any builders? We've got no builders. Okay, <laughs> that's that's less good because nothing's getting built. We've got like 80 logs. Okay, we will take, we'll, we'll pause one of the lumberjacks. That gives us one guy at least. Uh, how are we in for food? We're, we're, oh, we've got like 200 food. Let's pause. We'll take, we'll take off one of the farmers. That gives us two guys to work on building. Um, we really we really need more beavers. We, we have got for, for, um, four kits. We're up to 15 beavers total. So we, we have got like three extra beavers. So we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, it's all going well. It's all going well. Science is coming in. We've already got another 157 science. We've got 200 food. We've got 50 logs. Uh, we don't have any water, though. We've emptied the water barrels, and I haven't got them pumping again. <laughs> and, of course, as, as soon as I set these to, uh, to pump, that means we haven't got any workers again. <laughs> it's like, how do I get workers Let's pause the grill for a while because we're we're relatively good on food. I need to set this water barrel for water, and the same with this one. Uh, I should get another couple of water barrels going, I guess, because I, I definitely don't want to run out of water. That would be a very quick way to end the game, right? So we'll have a, another couple of water barrels going on. So. <laughs> Where do I go? I, I guess I'm just going to have to wait for the beavers to grow up. Can we get enough workers? Can we finish the dam on time? Well, if you want to find out the answer, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Guys, thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.